Good morning. Welcome back to another camper video. Hopefully one of the last camper videos. So uh, today is going to be paint day. I think today is going to be paint day. Um, started some prep work already. We'll turn the camera around and show you where we're at. All right, so yesterday, washed it, scrubbed it down uh, with a brush as best we could. This morning, um, before I start taping, there's a lot of little things like these these door holders they need to come off um i want to repair the all the cracks in these plastic fenders we'll try to repair those uh i do have replacement marker lights i want to do that after we paint i did work on the doors the other day um i'll put a before and after picture in right here All right, so every YouTube video I've watched with people remodeling old campers, every one of them has said getting the old decals off is maybe the worst part. Uh, I'm gonna have to say they're right. Luckily for us, they're only on the door. The rest of them are painted, so this is gonna take a lot longer than I thought it would. Uh, again, more of more of these door releases. I'm not sure that's for the old awning. I may take it off or I may just paint around it just to see because I got to put the new awning on as soon as we get done painting. Uh, took the rock shield off the front, um, washed it down good. Now the front is going to require some primer. You can see a lot of it's down to the metal, so um, we'll get it primered up. I did go ahead and I've already repainted the tongue, uh, the frame that is visible. I didn't get out completely underneath it, but painted the frame. Uh, lots to tape here, of course. I'm not sure yet exactly what I'm going to do with these. These are patches where I don't know if that used to be a vent or, or what was there. Um, I was going to try and paint it, but I think I'm going to get some run through on that. Uh, so still a little decision making there. Uh, lots to paint again more cracks on the uh, fenders try and get those repaired I really want to do away with this it was like this when we bought it uh, that may be an after we paint deal so try and just get the painting done um, and around in the back fresh coat paint on the bumper basically anything anything frame bumper wise that is visible got a fresh coat of black paint on it um, I guess a couple of the biggest things is these decals right here. I really want to try and save them. They're, uh, they're not cracked. They're not, they're in really good shape. I prefer to have, uh, the decals on the side, so it will be tedious, I'm sure. But if I can pull it off and leave those, there's one on each side and one on the, on the very back that we're going to try to save, so. Uh, so let's get to work. We'll get some taping going here. Sure. Uh, so just a little update on the taping. That took uh, a lot longer than I thought it was going to, which I knew was going to be tough, but it took a while. Uh, so it has taken quite a while to get one side taped up. Um, I watched a video the other day, you know, watching YouTube on painting campers. And one of the people on there, I don't remember the video, but said, However long you think it's going to take you, double it, and they could not be more right. So I will tell you this, my thumb out of the way, scotch blue, horrible, stay away from it. Alright, that's going to wrap day one. Taped, a little bit of primer on the front uh, where it was out of the metal. taped primer above the windows because I had some crazy caulk up there that wouldn't come off so primer did hopefully the paint will stick tomorrow and then same thing on the back so I'll tell you doing that took a while a lot longer than I thought I know I mentioned that earlier but my big concern for the night is, I mentioned how bad this tape sucks. I'm afraid all this will be 
falling off in the morning because it's already coming loose up there so we'll see all right good morning welcome to day two um just kind of walking around and checking some of the tape since i had to leave it out overnight the dew settled on it so some of the tape might be uh patched up a little bit this morning but all in all it's not as bad as i thought it could be um yeah so just uh Hopefully it'll be painting pretty soon. So let me show you what we got to do today. Uh, so I mentioned um, some of the issues with the do that I have to come back and redo. But, you know, just little pieces like this that are loose and not sealed. We'll go back and touch them up a little bit. Not too bad. Uh, one of the first things this morning is this is the rock guard for the front window which um, I'm just gonna do it white. I'm not gonna try and with a, some of the faded spots on there and it's a paint on, it's not a decal. So we're just gonna do that white. So we'll get it taped off, get a couple coats of primer on it to seal that green up. And then the second thing we gotta do is put the sprayer together. So I've never used this. It's an Avanti Airless Paint Primer and stain sprayer but i've never really used the sprayer much at all i uh, did watch several reviews of this thing so we'll have to get it put together and get it tested out and kind of get going from there all right so we're let, while we're letting that primer dry we'll start putting the sprayer together now before you seal up your storage compartment you might want to make sure you have all the tools out there you need because now i get to cut this off and redo it all right primered up a few little test strips uh we about to see how this thing works see what i can uh hopefully not screw it up So it's kind of shaded, but you can see the top on the wide is done. Uh, the one thing I afraid, was afraid was going to happen did about the time I fanned with the uh, painter, the uh, paper blew off, so I got some overspray on the window. I have to go back and get that off. But uh, one coat, looks like one coat's going to do it. So we'll start working on uh, doing the bottom, then we'll do the middle stripe last. That's the plan, at least. All right, so I've got the bottom painted. Just gonna take some tape off and uh, see how that looks. If all goes well, tomorrow is just a green stripe in the middle. The weather is not going to help me get done today. Maybe we'll get a little break this afternoon. All right, on to day three of the camper project. So plans for today is to get the tape I put on for the tan paint yesterday, get it pulled off. I got to touch up some spots that I had messed up. Get the green stripe painted, which will go right in here. Uh, there, there. 
Uh, and then something I learned yesterday, I should have waited to touch up to recover all the bumpers and the frame and everything else because I had a lot of overspray on there. So that'd be the plan today is also is to get that done and hopefully get the rock shield back on the front. So all right, let's try and get day three wrapped up. Of all the tape I've got to pull off today, this, and I can't see it in the sun, but that, I'm excited and nervous because that could have been a whole lot of work that didn't work and the decals are ruined anyway, so I guess we're gonna find out. So one thing I was happy to see is so far on the first one, decal stayed in place. So uh, it's not perfect. And I just like it that it stayed on there as the original, so cool. Day three ended up not really being day three. The paint was too tacky to tape it. Um, I did peel some tape, tape but uh, we're just gonna call day three however many afternoons it takes to finish it up when I get home from work. stripe taped off get ready to paint in here in a second one thing we are going to do is to avoid overspray and potentially messing up my white and tan paint i'm going to try and roll or slash paint the stripe so i guess we'll see how that turns out well so i realized i didn't video while i was painting but the the roll went pretty well uh, you had to go with a brush under some of these lips to touch up those spots. But uh, all in all, it went pretty well. Uh, probably could have rolled the whole camper if that's what I wanted to do. Or if you're doing a project like this and you want to, it's just uh, the sprayer is so much faster. But uh, the green went rolled on pretty well. Also, while I was painting, I did take these door catches that were rusty metal. Uh, basically, just holds the door open if you want to leave your door open. Painted them black, <coughs> excuse me. Placed the marker lights on the side, which were no good. Uh, so, yeah, pretty much uh, finishing up the paint job. Also, on each side of the doors, there's a pull handle to help you get in. They were just like a chrome or metal. So, we painted those black. I think they blend in with the door good, too. call it a wrap painting the camper is done um we still got to put the new awning on we'll do that some other time i doubt we'll do a video but overall as far as painting the camper was it a lot of work yes uh was it frustrating and painful at times yes it was um was it a lot cheaper to do it myself uh, rather than take it somewhere else and have it painted yeah it was so i'm happy with how it turned out um like I said, a lot of work went into it, but overall, good learning experience, how to do things, and uh, bought an uh, airless painter out of it, too, which worked well. Um, so, if you like these kind of videos, give it a thumbs up. Um, subscribe to the channel. We'll keep posting stuff and just see how things go. So, again, thanks for watching.